With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello student, let us start with the question. Here we have given in figure PQRS is a square and SRT is an equilateral triangle. Then prove that PT is equals to QT and angle TQR is nothing but 15 degree. Okay, so here I will say let us start with the solution. First of all, if I will look at here, so here we have given PQRS is a square and similarly TSR okay or srt i can say that this triangle is given to us that is equilateral triangle first thing we have to prove pt is equals to qt so first of all what i will do i will try to find this angle so this angle is nothing but addition of this angle that is qrt which is nothing but 90 degree because of this pqrs is a square hence this angle will be 90 degree and similarly this angle will be nothing but 60 degree because we have given TSR is a equilateral triangle. Hence, here I can say that the angle uh, TRQ angle TRQ will be nothing but is equals to 90 plus 60 which will be is equals to 150 degree. Okay. Similarly, I will try to find this angle. Okay. This is also combination of this 90 degree angle and this 60 degree angle. Okay. Same because this is a square and this is equilateral triangle and equilateral triangle uh, having the angle nothing but 60 degree and a square having the angle 90 degree. So, okay. So, here I can say that the angle PST angle PST will be equals to 90 plus 60 which will be is equals to 150 degree okay so from here i can say that if both of them having the measurement same that is 150 hence the angle pst will be equals to angle trq okay let this is equation number one now let's say in triangle stp or rtq okay i will say let in triangle stp stp and triangle rtq okay rtq so first of all as we have given this sp will be equals to rq why because this both of them are sides of a square and as we know that sides of a square are equal okay so from here i can say that the ps will be equals to qr and this is because of sides of a square sides of a square okay now second thing uh, here i can say this st will be equals to tr why because this tsr is equilateral triangle and equilateral triangle having the side equal hence here st will become is equals to tr and here the reason i will say because of equilateral triangle okay because of equi okay this is you equilateral triangle okay now from equation number one as we have got this angle PST is equals to TRQ. So, this angle is coming into both of this triangle. Okay. So, here I can say that from equation number 1 that is P angle PST is equals to angle TRQ. And this is I will say from equation 1. Okay. Now, from this all three argument I can say that the triangle ASTP is congruent to triangle RTQ. Okay. And if two triangles are congruent, then its corresponding parts will also be congruent. Hence, here 
I can say that the QT will be equals to PT. Okay, this uh, QT okay will be equals to TP. Hence, here we proved the first. Now, if I will talk about the triangle, okay, let's say in triangle QRT. QRT. Okay, means I am talking about this triangle. Okay, so if I will look at here, so this QR is equals to SR. We have already proved. Uh, means uh, it is given to us that is this is a square and square sides are equal hence this SR equals to QR but this SR is also a side of equilateral triangle it means this SR will also be equals to TR so from here I can say that this RTQ is nothing but a isosceles triangle and isosceles triangles uh, if this is a isosceles triangle then there are two angles means this and this angle will be nothing but equal okay so from here i can say that in this triangle angle rqt will be equals to angle qtr okay angle qtr now as we know the sum of all the angles in a triangle is nothing but equals to 180 degree hence here i will say rqt plus angle qtr plus angle uh, trq okay angle trq will be equals to 180 degree now as we have proved this rqt is equals to tr so in the place of this i can say that the two twice of angle qtr because qtr plus in the place of this i will put qtr so qtr plus qtr will be two twice of qtr and trq i have already found as above that is 150 degree so from here i will say the angle qtr will be equals to 180 minus 150 divided by 2 which will be nothing but 30 divided by 2 which will be is equals to 15 degree so here we proved the second one that is angle qtr is equals to 15 degree okay so here is the solution for this particular question i hope you will like the solution thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today